So we're going to talk about in this video is the mechanisms of failure. So there are seven main mechanisms of failure, um, and we'll talk about them with the aid of the stress-strain diagram, uh, a column cross-section, and a longitudinal view. Uh, so first, what's going to happen is we're going to have an elastic stress-strain response. So in this phase, um, our, both our, our uh, cover and our core concrete are going to behave uh, together and uh, you know both contribute to our capacity. Uh, what's going to happen next is we're going to lose our cover concrete. So it's at this point where we progress up and we lose our cover concrete. So we're going to lose that restraint, or that buckling restraint for our longitudinal reinforcement, and we'll lose the contribution of the cover from our cross-section capacity. So after this happens, the additional stress is taken by the core and the longitudinal steel. So this stress is going to increase until our longitudinal steel begins to uh, yield or buckle. So because we lost our uh, concrete cover, what's going to happen is our longitudinal steel is going to be uh, more easily able to buckle outward. And as it buckles, we're going to lose the capacity of, of the concrete, or uh, sorry, of the uh, rebar. And this will leave only the core concrete left to contribute to the strength. So after this, at some point, our section uh, is going to fail. And that's because uh, the, the concrete core is going to crush. So the core will eventually uh, reach ultimate strength. And it's at this point that there's uh, nothing else left to resist the stress, so ultimately our column is going to fail. <laughs> 